why did peter fail his faith was failed when he was walking on the water in matthew 14 is to 31 we are sometimes hard on peter because of his nature but who else beside peter ever walked on water when peter asked jesus that he might come to him jesus said come so peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to jesus but when he saw the wind he was afraid and beginning to sink and he cried out lord save me so why did peter start to sink so here another example we can see here is why did jesus say your faith has made you well and instantly the woman was made well in matthew 9 is to 22 some people say that if you're not healed you did not have enough faith and they point out this verse to prove their point but was jesus really saying that it was the woman's faith that healed her was it her faith that healed her was the faith in jesus christ that allowed god to heal her think about it and what does the author of hebrews mean by writing that faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of the things not seen which says in hebrew 11 is to 10 here to the author of hebrew faith is tangible concrete evidence of what we hope for in eternity you can see that in revelation 22 we have the assurance of god's word and not one of his great and precious promises ever have or ever will fail you can read that in second peter 1 is to 4 do you have that assurance and conviction of what you hope for even though when you don't see how it's happening what does the apostle paul mean by writing the righteous shall live by faith in roman 1 is to 17 paul and james are not at odds with each other as some early bible scholars and teachers believed god never contradicts himself Paul is really saying what James wrote that the righteous shall live by faith and that faith will produce good works. The righteous will live by faith and the righteous will have evidence of that living by faith according to 1 John 3. Why does James write that the faith without works is dead? James wrote that faith without works is dead in James 2 is to 17 what it means that if someone says that they have a faith but have no works then that is dead faith or really no faith at all we are not saved by our works according to Ephesians 2 8 is to 9 but a genuine faith should produce works in our daily life otherwise it's not really a faith at least the faith that saves we are saved for our works that God has prepared beforehand is believing the same thing as faith we can believe in something but is that enough James answers the question James answers the question that you believe that God is one you do well even the demons believe and shudder according to James 2 is to 19 so if we say we believe we can only say congratulations you have qualified to be a demon for even they believe but that's not saving faith or belief so i can believe in a high traffic 
but if I try to cross the interstate it won't save my life are these references to faith in the Old Testament yes we might believe that faith is a New Testament belief or a doctrine but faith in God has been around us as long as the Bible has been written Noah believed God and he and it was accounted to him as righteousness just like Abraham was and it says in Genesis 15 is to 6 where Abraham believed the Lord and he counted it to him as righteousness in Genesis 15 is to 6 Abraham had a enough faith that he considered that God was able even to rise him from dead from which figuratively speaking he did receive him back in Hebrews 11 is to 9 and why do they call grace so amazing we were dead men and dead women walking until the Spirit of God enters our hearts and revives us to a new life much like Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead the fact that we were once enemies of God being ungodly and wicked sinners shows us that it's all about God's grace and not about us according to Romans 5 6 is to 10 Paul writes about the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes in Romans 1 is to 16 but what is that power or what is it it is saying the power of God is found in his word and in his spirit so when the word of God is heard it comes with the power of God to make a new creature in Christ according to 2nd Corinthians 5 is to 17 it is much like Paul wrote in 1st Corinthians 1 is to 18 where he wrote the word of the cross is folly foolish to those who are perishing but to those who are being saved it is the power of God according to 1st Corinthians 1 is to 18 what does the Apostle Paul mean by writing the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith in Romans 1 is to 17 does the Paul mean different faith than of saving faith when he writes in Roman uh, 1 is to 17 or saying that the righteousness of God is revealed from the faith to faith the faith Paul is talking about is saving faith because that's the very righteousness of God so it is not from the works to faith but faith that produces works Paul may mean faith of the old covenant led to the faith of the new covenant which shows that salvation has been by faith from the call of Abraham to the present time now does pride interfere our faith yes absolutely let's see when Elijah asked Naaman a great commander in the mighty army of Syrian army to dip seven times in the Jordan River so that he could be healed of leprosy the commander Naaman was angry and went away saying behold I thought he would surely come out to me and stand and call upon the name of the Lord is God and wave his hand over the place and cure the lepers second Kings 5 is to 11 did Naaman's pride interfere with with his being healed think about it and why are we tempted to add to it our own works we are saved by grace alone and not by works so why is it that we are so tempted to add works to our salvation because it's just our nature to do so because we are sinful people we don't like to receive something for nothing we often want to add baptism good works or some other meritorious work to complete our salvation 
yes we should know that we are saved by grace alone but grace does not come alone does it and why is it hard to have faith in god when a man came up to jesus to discuss his mute son he told him i asked your disciples to cast it out and they were not able in mark 9 is to 18 it says so jesus said to him if you can all things are possible for one who believes immediately the father of the child cried out and said i believe help my unbelief the son's father said he believed and then he says help my unbelief but why can jesus help our unbelief it's hard to believe today in god who we can't see is it not so we have to exercise our faith exercising faith in jesus christ means having a 100% trust in jesus and confidence in him Faith is the power to manifest his will in your life. Faith is a gift from God comes to you as you are righteous. Faith is having trust and confidence in the Lord. Your faith in him is so power that will lead you to obey his gospel and your obedience will help you to have more faith which is a gift from God. As the scripture says if you have faith in the Lord he can do all things for you such as healing forgiving comforting converting you but having faith does not mean telling God what to do it means trusting him and understanding that all blessings come from God according to his will and in his own time and in his own way for example you may not receive an immediate answer to your prayers but your faith assures you that heavenly father hears your prayers and will answer at the right time to develop and exercise your faith learn the word of god depend upon the scriptures whether by reading the scriptures or listening to those who have authority to teach the scriptures according to romans 10 is to 17 knowing the word of god will help you to see that god always keeps his promises he never fails and obey his commandments live out your pride live out live your uh, a positivity life in christ don't have negative thoughts don't have negative behavior your righteousness allows the gift of faith to grow in your life show your belief in jesus christ by following his examples and teachings do what he asked for you through the scriptures the teachings of the living prophets and the promptings of the holy spirit uh, while many people get through life without faith in the Lord, they can never inherit inherit the eternal life without faith in Him. Only through the gospel of Jesus Christ, with faith in Him as the first principle, we can enjoy our eternal life, which is the gift, the greatest gift of God, which bestows on His chosen ones.